Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video on 5 hamster products I regret buying. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first product I regret buying is this Board and Breaker Activity Assault Course. So I was very disappointed when I bought this because I was expecting so much more from it and it was just not what I thought it would be at all. So the idea of it is really good but I've just got a really really poor quality made toy so it's just started to fall apart and it's just really not fit for purpose because I cannot guarantee that the things aren't going to fall off if the hamsters are playing on it and also because it was made of string it means that the hamsters are just going to chew it and it's just going to fall down all the time so I actually put this in Humbug's cage and I woke up the next morning and it was just collapsed on the floor I guess you could say so she's chewed all the string and this was on the floor and if that had fell on her it would have hurt her so needless to say I was not very impressed with this and because it was almost £10 as well I was expecting so much more from it so these little step things here down on this side some of them have actually fallen off and it's just very badly made I mean I've glued them on multiple times and they will just not stay on so I'm not sure if it's just mine which is really bad quality or if it's just a toy in general also on this little climbing wall thing some of the posts or some of the little peg things toward the bottom have fallen off and it's just not really what I was expecting at all especially for such an expensive toy I was hoping for so much more and unfortunately I got a really bad quality one so for that reason I really would not buy another toy like this because I'm just worried that I would get another really badly made one so I really regret buying this product for the hamsters and to be honest the hamsters don't even really bother with it I mean Humbug will climb to the top and she'll sit on it but that's pretty much all she will do and the dwarfs just completely ignore it so I wasted £10 on a toy which the hamsters don't even use. So the next product I regret buying is these Pets at Home Teddy Bear Loofah Chews. Now I bought one of these for each of the hamsters and I think they're about £1.50 each. Now I had really high hopes for these because they are a really different texture to any of the toys the hamsters have had and I thought they would have a little nibble of them and they've all just completely ignored them so now I've got six loofah teddy bears just sitting in the drawer doing nothing because the hamsters just will not even touch them I mean Humbug buried hers under the bedding and then just left it within the first day so I really do regret buying these and because they were £1.50 each as well it does end up being quite expensive when you buy one for all of the pets and they are a nice little toy and it does kind of brighten the cage up a little bit but my pets just did not like them at all so I do really regret buying this product. So the next toy I regret buying is the Pets at Home Small Ball Rush Balls. Now my only hamster who ever actually chewed these was Cookie Monster. Now for those of you who remember her she was the first hamster which I ever started YouTube with. Now all the others completely ignore these and I'm not too sure why because it is a nice natural chew toy for them. So. None of them will bother with these, so again I have six ball rush balls sitting in the drawer doing nothing because the hamsters just will not touch them. Now I know most people's hamsters do actually like these, but for some reason mine just don't. So I think I just have very fussy hamsters. So I do regret buying this, but I don't regret buying this if that makes sense, because I did have hamsters who really like them, and now I've just got really fussy hamsters, and I think it just depends entirely on the pet themselves. So for the hamsters I have now, I do regret buying six of these because now I just have them sitting around in the house doing nothing because the hamsters just will not touch them. So the next product I regret buying is the brush and chew mineral toothbrushes from Pets at Home. So again, I have six of these sitting in the drawer doing absolutely nothing because the pets just will not eat them. Um, 
Again, Cookie Monster was the only one who ever chewed these and Speedy Gonzales and Elmo also had a little nibble of them. So this one was Elmo's and as you can see she chewed it a little bit and Speedy Gonzales had a little nibble on the bottom of his as well. Um, but I bought one for each of the hamsters as a nice little chew toy for them to help keep them teeth down. And with the new hamsters, none of them will even touch them. And I think these are about £1.50 each. So it does work out quite expensive. So I do regret buying these because the pets just won't eat them. And they don't really offer any nutritional goodness for the hamsters either. So mineral chews don't really do anything for pets. It's just sort of a more of a boredom breaker. But they just don't like them. So I regret buying these products. And the last thing I regret buying is these little cute wood chews. Now I'm not too sure of the brand but I got them from the range and they're about 60p each. So I thought that they would be a really nice chew toy for the pets and it would help to spice up their cages a little bit and give them a little bit more colour. And I thought because it's a different shaped chew they would actually take interest in it. And I was wrong and they just don't even touch them. So again I have six of these just sitting in the drawer doing absolutely nothing because the pets just don't like them. So one of the dwarfs just stuck his head through it and that was it. He didn't bother with it after that. He just popped his head through, had a little sniff and didn't bother after that. And Humbug didn't like it either which is very strange because Humbug usually likes toys like this because they are different to what she normally has. And obviously the others just didn't bother with them so I do regret buying these as well so that is just a really quick video on five products I regret buying for my hamsters I have tons more products which I regret buying for them but I thought that I would just pick out five because otherwise this video would be super long so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and as always if you have any questions please feel free to comment and I'll try to answer them for you and thank you so much for the support as always and yeah Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, bye!